Yeah. to my channel for those who are new here my name is Yulia you're my channel Miss Dubly and today is Monday and I'm in a super hurry because we're going to H&M together the morning started okay I actually thought that I would have kind of relaxed Monday it wasn't at all I'm gonna talk about that a little bit later I'm gonna talk about the balance of my previous week my first week as a self-employed and all that stuff but you guys were running late we're going to H&M and they're closing at 7 and right now it's 6.15, so we need to go. We're gonna go to H&M and we're gonna go to Nordstrom Rack because I told you that I need more shoes. Sorry to start this vlog this way, but this is the real life. I'll catch up with you, I'll talk to you at H&M. Outfit of the day, super easy. I'm wearing this blouse from Mango, my skirt is from H&M, have my bag from Frame and slides from H&M too. We gotta go. and I had to stop because I was so busy. It's been a week since I started working for myself or trying to work for myself and be kind of profitable. Of course, right now I have zero profitability, but interesting things happened this past week on all the levels, on a personal level and professional level. I realized a lot of things. I want to talk about that tomorrow with a fresh head. One of the things that I realized is that I really need to organize myself better. I have a planner and every day I write what I want to do. So I never finished all the stuff that I put in. And that's not because I'm not working, it's just because I'm not realistically planning, you know? I put four hours for editing a video when editing a video is taking me seven. Not realistic. So I, I went shopping. I wanted to include a little bit of something in this video, in this vlog. I really wanted to go to a Nordstrom rack because I need shoes. It sounds ridiculous. I have, I don't know how many pairs of shoes I do have. But if you watched my previous video with my wearable fall trends, you will know that I'm only wearing pumps right now and that I'm searching some kind of boots, some kind of different shoes that are not high heels or really dressy heels. So I checked the Nordstrom Rack website and I found some boots that I did like. So I went there with the idea that I will find those boots and that wasn't the case, obviously. I found one pair and you will laugh once you'll see them. They had good stuff, but nothing crazy. I had 
H&M just in front of Nordstrom Rack so I went first actually to H&M because H&M is closing at 7 so I went to H&M, picked up some stuff, not too many pieces but you will need to wait until Sunday to see that I'm gonna be doing kind of a collective haul but mainly it's gonna be H&M haul so that's gonna be on Sunday but let me show you the one pair of shoes that I got at Nordstrom Rack my idea was to show you like all the shoes and all the stuff that I would buy at Nordstrom Rack but in this case it was just one pair of shoes I got another pair of pumps I recognize that I have a problem but I do really like them they are different that's what I always say they are different that's my excuse for everything anyway I found these shoes they were really cheap they costed me $18. They're from a brand 27 Edit. I'm not familiar with this brand to be quite honest, but they look really great quality. I love the sole. Uh, they have them in black and in this burgundy color. And you know, if you're not new, that I love my burgundy accessories because they mix with every color that you have in your wardrobe, but they look a little bit different. And the other thing, why I picked them is because they have square toe. They are not pointy, all my pumps are pointy, so when I saw these I was like, hmm, this is interesting, these look really trendy. A little something from Nostrum Rock. And I can show you the accessories that I got at H&M because in my hauls I never show you any accessories, so... I got some earrings. I love H&M accessories, I think they're great. They are not like the best quality, I'm not gonna lie, but... For the price, I think they pretty good. So I got this set of earrings, the green tones earrings. I got them for four dollars. They were originally they were ten. H and M still have sale. And also I got these little earrings, these little hoops with some pearls. For two dollars, they went down from eight. And I got this headband. I have a million of headbands, and I don't wear them. <laughs> I bought a lot of headbands when it was a trend last year, but to be quite honest, I never wore them. Those really like big headbands, I don't think that they look good on me. But I found this one that it's thin, you know, it's not really bulky. And probably I would wear this one and it's black, it's really simple, so we'll see. And it was only three, and it was only three dollars. I don't think I'm gonna have dinner, I had lunch at 5 p.m. you guys. I will finish my planning for tomorrow. Finish planning my TikTok videos. I almost done with that. I'm gonna finish planning my outfits that I want to shoot tomorrow and I'm gonna study for a little bit. I'm gonna read some books that I have. I relaxed a little bit when I was shopping so yeah it's time to push a little bit more to have some work done and I'll talk to you tomorrow. a.m. I hope about 6.50. I already took a shower, I already had my breakfast, my husband is already having his meetings. It's gonna be a constant like noise in this vlog, like my husband talking. Believe me, I had this noise like in my head <laughs> all the time, my husband talking on his meetings. It's crazy but he's doing like a super exciting project and he's super passionate about that so I'm letting him do his things even though he's working a ridiculous amount of hours. I'm about to do my makeup and I wanted to sit down and share it with you. If you watched my previous vlog you know that I did uh, an order to Sephora because they have 50% off on cover effects. 
So I already received it and I'm gonna try it with you. Actually, no, I'm gonna show you the products in action because I already tried everything and actually I filmed the spot like twice because I was telling you yesterday, I started this vlog like on Saturday and then on Sunday and then I couldn't finish it. So today we're gonna do it. Finally, so I got some product from their power clay line and I told you in the vlog that this is my favorite concealer of all the times and I'm repeating with it and I have the foundation and I have the powder. I did really like the product so let's put them in work. At the same time we're gonna do a little chit chat and I'm gonna explain you what we're gonna be doing today. So today is Tuesday. I actually shifted a little bit my schedule one day because I was planning to upload a video on Sunday but it wasn't possible so I uploaded it yesterday. Today my main big task is to upload a new blog post. I have my web, my blog, but it's misswcom check it out because you have different content that you will not see on my social media or on this channel. My purpose is to write two posts per week. Actually, I, I wanted to start yesterday, but again, it didn't happen and I finished at like 11.30 p.m. yesterday. And that's gonna take me, let's be realistic, it's gonna probably take me two or three hours. I wasn't updating my web and posting on my blog for a really long time and I want to improve a lot of things on my web. Any technical, like, smallest issue is taking me forever. The, the one that I posted last week, it took me forever, but I figured it out at the end and hopefully today it's not gonna be that long. I was checking my last year's post and I was like, oh my gosh, my style changed so much. I know what I like now and I express in that through fashion, which is really great and that's what I wanna show you how to do. Uh, I'm also gonna be offering my services through my web, right? So I need to put together all the descriptions and uh, all that kind of stuff. I'm gonna be using this primer from Touch in Soul. We need to post on Instagram. Um, I need to do more stories definitely to get some more engagement. And then I'm planning to post between two or three videos on TikTok. Uh, and after that, I need to start editing this vlog because this vlog needs to go live tomorrow, Wednesday. And I need to study. I like to learn every day as much as I can. I have a lot of books about fashion, about styling that I want to finish. Honestly, like in the past week, I didn't really have that much time to just sit and study, but I need to find at least like a couple of hours to do that. Okay, guys, I'm using the shade G40. I'm gonna be using a brush. I did use this foundation with a um, sponge and with a brush and I do prefer use it with a brush because I feel like a sponge absorbs too much product. I already tried this foundation like two or three times and I do really like it. You see it's not like super high uh, coverage but I have a lot of foundation with super high coverage and I wanted something a little bit lighter like for every day but the good thing about this foundation is that it's buildable so if you need more coverage you definitely can have it right now after one layer it doesn't look like super intense you know and that's what I appreciate because this will be my everyday foundation what I like about the packaging is that it's plastic so it's not gonna break and I like that it doesn't have a pump so you will be able to use all the foundation that you have inside. I'm gonna be using my concealer, the Power Clay. I have the shade G Light 2. I love this concealer. It's super brightening, but it's not cake at all. I hate super heavy concealers that are cakey and that crisp. For my under eye, I'm using the Laura Mercier powder. I do really like this powder, but I have a really cheap dupe that works just wonderfully. I have this powder from uh, Makeup Revolution, it's called Lace. I don't even know if they're still doing this, I hope so, but this powder is wonderful and it works just perfectly. It works like the Laura Mercier one and it's what? It's less than $10, I'm sure. Ok 
Okay, and I'm gonna use the loading powder and it's the shade light. I'm gonna leave all the links in the description box. I do prefer matte foundations and this is really matte as you can see and I can see that my under eye right now it's really bright but that's gonna change. I'm gonna use this product. This is from Too Faced. I don't think it's available anymore but I really really like this product. It's kind of a bronzer blush and I've been using this non-stop during quarantine. It gives you like a nice bronzy color and I do really like it. Let me do my eyes and I'll come back to you. <music> blog post only. I haven't done anything else. I just finished with my blog post. It's 2.30 p.m. I would say that I started around 10, 10.30. So it took me a good three hours and a half to make the, uh, the blog post. And it seems a lot to me too, but I need to be kind of a patient with myself and just to know that it takes a lot of time and just to understand and realize why it's taking so much time even though I know that my blog it's not gonna be my strongest platform let's say I want to keep posting it's helping me a lot and it's helping me in different ways so I just posted a vlog about the fall trends I chose eight fall trends that I wanted to mention in this blog post so I did kind of a big search on each trend. The other thing that is taking me a while is to put this lookbook part with some links because I need to search for each item and then create this HTML code. I'm talking about this slider. If you click on any of these links, it's gonna take you to the item that I'm mentioning. These are affiliate links. What that means that if you will buy anything from these links, I will get a small commission it's a really small commission but yeah obviously as a full-time blogger a youtuber I need to use affiliate links because that's one way of my income like I have a link on my profile on my Instagram profile and when you go to that link and you have the last post from the last year that looks in my opinion really unprofessional so I do want to keep my blog updated and uh, if anybody will visit my website they will see that it's updated on a weekly basis and another really important reason because it honestly really helps me that's something that will keep me updated about the trends or about anything that i want to write about obviously i'm not an english native speaker so writing is more difficult than uh, speaking so writing pushes me a lot that will help me a lot with my english and that will help me to improve a lot of my english probably it's not the fastest way to grow my business but Honestly, I think it's the correct way and I will be keeping doing that. So right now I'm gonna have lunch, you guys. And after that, we're gonna film some, some TikToks and we're gonna talk about TikTok. That was one of my biggest highlights last week. So we're gonna talk definitely about that, but it's 2.30, so I think it's time to have lunch. Oh, and of course, obviously, check my website, check my blog. I'm trying to talk about different topics that I'm not talking on my social media or on my YouTube channel. So we will have more fashion on my blog. I'm putting a lot of effort and I think it looks really good. I think it gives you knowledge, all the information, as always, in the description box. <laughs>
I want to show you my first outfit of the day, what I'm wearing while I'm at home. So this is my outfit of the day. Well, I'm telling you, my first outfit because I'm gonna change right now for filming. So I'm wearing this t-shirt. This has a lot of years. I brought it from Spain. I think it's from the brand called Bershka, but it's super fun. It has this tassels, love it. And then I'm wearing this joggers from Zara. I got them last week that I kind of needed because I don't have uh, too many comfy, really comfy clothes. So yeah, this is my look. And now it's time to change. Filming outfit number one. I'm wearing this blouse from H&M and my favorite jeans from Zara. All super high waisted. And I changed my lipstick, retouched a little bit my makeup and here we go, TikTok number one. We're gonna be filming two. So this is the first one, let's go. <laughs> really productive so I'm pretty happy I finished filming I finished filming and editing two TikTok uh, videos I actually already posted one and I just changed because I'm gonna be shooting with my husband yay he's not that busy today so we're gonna go for a walk and that's always my excuse to take pictures and film some videos so I'm gonna be filming two outfits this is gonna be for my video that will go live on Thursday let me show you the outfit I'm gonna be doing a special video I'm gonna be styling something in my Thursday video, so let me in the comments what we're gonna be styling in this video, but this is my first outfit Really really like it Everything is Zara, the blouse is Zara, jeans are Zara, boots are Zara, and my bag is from Mango And my other outfit, I have my bag, I have my blouse, and I have another pair of jeans so you can imagine what we're gonna be styling in that video hopefully after filming this I will be able to sit and to talk with you now it's 6 30 so we need to go because if not we will not have light for to take pictures so we need to go shopping so yeah it was pretty pretty productive day and I'm super happy I still have things to do unfortunately <laughs> but it was really productive I almost finished everything that I have on my list for today it's 8 55 so we're gonna have dinner I'm gonna have tacos and these are not like Mexican true tacos these are tacos that we are making at home but they are delicious and I love my tacos so I'm gonna do that and after that we're gonna talk and we're gonna finish this vlog. I tried really hard to kind of film and to, to have this vlog kind of organized, but honestly, it was impossible. We'll figure out that together. But anyway, I'm gonna have dinner because I'm pretty hungry right now. And after that we're gonna talk. <laughs>
talk about what I wanted to tell you from the beginning of this video but at the end I don't know what happened I didn't do this on purpose I didn't wait until the, en the end of this vlog to actually tell you what I wanted to tell you but I really hope you enjoyed it at least staying with me and uh, seeing how my days are going what I learned from the last week what I learned is that I definitely need to get better in my organization I'm not telling that I'm bad is that with the amount of things that I want to do on a daily basis I need to really get better at that what I did yesterday actually helped me a lot today um, just prepping everything for tomorrow and have a really clear plan of what I'm gonna be doing. So my plan right now is to publish three YouTube videos on a weekly basis, to obviously uh, um, post every day, every single day on uh, Instagram, to be more active on my stories and to post from two to three videos on TikTok as well as posting two weekly blog posts as well as taking some time to study and at the same time I also need um, to do some updates on my web so that's my kind of a plan and I'm kind of following that plan so far so good, I'm not bored at all, I don't have time to relax and I feel great about that, honestly. Um, when you do what you like and what you love, you really don't feel like you're working. Of course, I'm getting tired. Everybody getting tired after being doing things for 12 hours, but it's a different feeling. Right now, I'm working for free. That's the reality. So I really need to keep myself motivated and don't get really anxious because I don't see the results as fast as I would like. I follow the plan that I have and I think my plan is good. So we'll see, definitely. Something really cool happened last week. Well, cool. <laughs> Something happened last week. Uh, one of my TikTok videos went viral. On my first week as entrepreneur, as self-employed, I went viral on TikTok. Wednesday last week, so one week ago on TikTok, I had 100 followers like this. I had 100 one zero zero followers on TikTok. One week ago I already knew how TikTok really works and uh, what you need to do kind of to get more views and all that kind of stuff but it's like on Instagram you you really don't don't exactly know. Last week I had a hundred followers. One week after I have 7,936 followers. Almost 8,000 followers. One of my videos that I posted last week, I'm gonna put it here so you're gonna see it, uh, has right now 800,000, 69,000 views, 869k, which is insane. Now I have almost 8,000 followers on TikTok, which is really cool. And the cool thing is also that some of my followers from TikTok uh, came to my Instagram and now they're following me on my Instagram. I don't know if they came to my YouTube, I don't think so, but they definitely follow me on both platforms, on TikTok and on Instagram, which is pretty cool. So from the last week, I gained almost 100 followers on Instagram and you know that if you're on social media that gaining followers on Instagram is pretty difficult because it's such a saturated social platform and you have a lot of content. So that was pretty cool to be honest and that was a little like a boost of motivation and that was like pretty cool that that happened la uh, the first week that I'm working for myself. So, yeah, you definitely need to check my TikTok. I'm always telling you that you need to check my TikTok because I'm posting on a daily basis and I'm posting like several videos per day and I'm posting a different content that you will not see definitely on this channel. If you want to know more like how I'm posting on TikTok and all that kind of stuff and how I search the topics and how I search the music and if you want me to go more in details about that I will definitely do in my next vlog. But yeah, for now I think I gave you a lot of information. <laughs> I think this vlog again will be super long. I honestly really enjoy doing vlogs. If you want to really know more about me, definitely it's through my vlogs. And yeah guys, if you did enjoy this video and if you want to see more of my videos, thumbs up to this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, it will help me a lot. <laughs> 
hope you will have a good end of this week. And yeah, guys, I definitely hope to see you in my next video. Bye-bye. Mm.